Alrighty, so today I, I wanted to just have a more of like a rant like slash talking point video to discuss how the corruption vendor has affected the game and how a lot of classes will be impacted with the addition of the corruption vendor. Uh, so for and basically just this this point, uh, I was been thinking about this for a little bit since I started playing Moonkin a lot less and started playing Hunter's significant amount more. And with Dratnos's new corruption PVE cheat sheet, uh, like I, I have been thinking about uh, what the best corruption are for a lot of classes and why. I'm going to leave this corruption cheat sheet down in the description. Also, if you guys haven't seen Dratnos's comprehensive coverage of what classes should be running and like specific roles should be running in terms of their corruption, you should check out his video series on that. Very comprehensive. My video today is going to be talking about just secondary stat corruptions the expedients the severes the masterfuls like all of those and how they're impacting the game and how they end up scaling with classes so i guess the the best example would probably be something like a fire mage or a destruction warlock so fire mage of course they want a bunch of masterful right and it makes a lot of sense they have blaster master traits uh, masterful and amplifies their ignite as well so they're going to be having just a ridiculous amount of mastery baseline to where masterful is going to be their best stat like mastery is going to be their best stat masterful is going to be their best corruption now with the corruption vendor they're able to get a large portion of masterful making classes that scale a little bit worse with secondary stats uh, worse in the process same with destruction warlock destruction warlock has flashpoint uh, for those who don't know basically if you deal damage to a target i believe it's above 90 or maybe be Maybe it's above 80% health. I think it's above 90% though. Uh, they get a significant amount of haste. And that that is very strong for their class. But in, in result, that makes them want to stack uh, expedient. This is very interesting. But this is, um, this is kind of interesting for classes that don't scale with baseline stats. So take Assassination Rogue, for example. Assassination doesn't have... Azerite traits that allow it to scale with secondary stats in the exact same way, right? So they don't have flash points. They don't have blaster master. They don't have furious gaze, uh, stuff like that. They also don't have a lot of baseline secondary stat scaling. So uh, for them, they want expedient single target and severe on AOE, but they use a lot of twisted appendage for assassination, which makes sense because they can get twisted appendage on those daggers, which are high item level. But even then... Whenever, in, whenever Twisted Appendage is going to be your best secondary stuff, or Gushing Wound, it, it's uh, fairly problematic for your class or your spec, especially whenever you have to compare yourself against these Fire Mages, the Destruction Warlocks, these Beast Mastery Hunters, even Death Knight. So Unholy Death Knight wants a bunch of Expedient. Breath Frost wants a bunch of Masterful and Honed Mind. Like that, because they scale so well with secondary stats like that. Rhett Paladin, for example, also wants Masterful and Ineffable Truth. That, that's, that's fairly strong. Masterful for Rhett is very good on multiple targets, like the two to three target range. And then when, once you start getting a lot more AoE, then Masterful becomes better and better. On single target, maybe a little bit worse uh, sometimes, but Masterful is still very good for Rhett. But then, like I was saying, you have these other classes that just don't really scale that well with secondary stats. F Fury Warrior is also an example of another class that doesn't scale super well with secondary stats. And it, it, I think the Corruption Vendor, is, it's very cool, but I think it's just amplified the problem. In addition to that, the classes that are going to be worse off uh, as the patch goes on, the Fury Warriors, the Moonkins, the Assassination Rogues, as more and more classes get secondary stat, st stat stuff, it's also because there is no like exponential scaling loop that these classes can take advantage of. They're very flat in terms of their secondary stat scaling, like most classes are supposed to be, but a, a lot of these classes are making use of some... Uh, feedback loop that they are able to take advantage of whether it be via their azurite or whether it be uh, some external source like beast mastery hunter with severe that that is another reason um and i'm going to make a video on this later why i believe that balance is going to be worse off due to the corruption vendor because all these other classes that scale well with secondary stats are able to get an ample amount of their best secondary stat point for point with corruption from the vendor whereas moonkin while it does want expedient and severe they don't have uh, they don't have azurite that scales with secondary stats and their base kit just doesn't 
scale the exact same way as a lot of other classes with secondary stats. Running triple streaking stars and arcanic pulsar just doesn't mean that they're going to scale that well. I, I found it interesting though. Um, it's it's definitely going to be cool to see how it plays out and so, how some of the classes end up uh, fleshing themselves out towards the end. I have a high suspicion that Fire Mage is actually just going to take over everything and they're going to be above and beyond the best range DPS and the best DPS by far and there's going to be no comparison. But I think that this is the, the availability of corruption at a super high level is probably going to be problematic for DPS, but it is the end of the expansion, so it matters less and less. I, I just wanted to make this sort of a talking point video. Of course, again, check out Dratnus' video to see what uh, all of these corruption choices here. Um, I'm going to also link this PvE corruption cheat sheet in the description. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later.